Okay, let's have a little fun. It is your summer solstice reading for 2024. And it's also basically a full moon reading. So, oh. I've already uh, pre-selected a couple of the cards, um, except for the tarot and the runes. And so we're gonna jump right into things uh, for the collective. Let's kick things off with our changes. What is our I Ching? Great vigor. Constancy, there's fruit. This is hexagram 34. With great vigor, you stand upright and robust, full of resilient energy. Inspired and animated by strong purpose, you are ready to wield your strength like a hero. To yield results, you will need to act with steadiness and consistency, standing in your strength, but without mistaking it for omnipotence. How will you use your power? Where do you stand? I reflect much on... Um, how uh, this last month has tested my sense of uh, that Jungian uh, grandiosity um, because of um, the amount of vitriol that I went under uh, to, you know, stand up for something I was doing that was, you know, that was based on higher purpose, right? You know, not just petty, uh, you know, you know, striving to succeed with content right and so like those are the ways that I think about it for me what is our guiding spirit Ooh, the shark I actually picked up quite a few shark teeth um, at the diamond mines uh, where you, you, you get to do the grab bag and then you get the sluice it in the fucking like water yourself and so like any crystals or whatever they come out of the sand so i got some crystals some fossils including shark teeth uh, shark teeth is a very common and popular one uh perception focus fear and action it is a water element it is card nine in this deck water elemental perception focus fear action now all of these are positive attributes except for fear um, fear has an interesting actual place but uh, uh, you know fear is uh, fear itself is not the thing right it's more about um, it's more about survival. I would say it's more like a survival thing, right? Not really fear, right? It's just your instinctual, like what you got to do in your fight or flight mechanism. But that doesn't have to be a, a fear, right? Um, you know, us thinking about how something will end us or ruin our futures, uh, you know, that, that those things create fear and that's all in the imagination and has nothing to do with assessing the circumstances at hand to avoid those futures. Because all they are are futures you don't want and that you don't know how to get out of under the emerging situation. All right, let's do this. We got, oh wait, I do have to shuffle. Do have to shuffle. I recognize that card. That card has the energy of the last person I pulled it for. Bear with me. Very good now. All right, in our center position. We're doing the nine worlds today. We've got the Ace of Arrows, the Breath of Life reversed. 
So this is in our center position, which is heart center, present moment, present place, right? This is your, this is your mid guard. So in this moment, you've got that inspired thought has emerged. And we have uh, canons. So, inspired thought, let me put it to you this way, it's reversed. Inspired thought is meant to emerge. You need to know that you can have that thought and act upon that thought. Don't hold yourself back on what you're thinking. Like, I know what it's like to have a thought that you're trying to dismiss in your head. You're trying to dismiss this thought in your head. Um, don't. Don't. Next, moving up into our imagination, if you will. Up into the intuitive mind. We have the two of bows. Decision. Decision. So you have, um, you have imagined the scenarios of the decision that you've made, right? Not, you know, you know, pure imagination, not necessarily working out the thoughts of it. Um, but in your imagination, you are working out what it is ultimately uh, meant to be. Saul, Saul. So you're making a, a soul-based decision. This is the, you know, this is that spark of the inner you. Um, and uh, you are trying to uh, make sure that you make the choice uh, that's really going to uh, get you towards your end goal. Because that can be not so clear if it's an in-betweener. Like, do I take this step? To, to 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 my next generation uh, destination or do I take that step right you can go left or right both will get you there but one may be um, not the wisest choice and not even necessarily something you may learn more from right it's 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 running all of these through right this is wands right this is the bows are the are the wands this is about your uh, your willpower here, not about your thinking so much. In our higher mind, in our active decision-making center, we have the Page of Bows reversed, which is run by the Stout. A little hunt, he's a little hunter of sorts. So this is more fire, this is fire inertialized, so he's the page, he's the student, right? Um, right now, you're supposed to be um, acting on lessons that you're learning and you're holding yourself up in doing that and that's like the forefront of things that you've been running through your head are um these these uh student type of actions you know this this learning situation uh, uh that you need to put yourself in we have ehwaj here ehwaj right um Part of the reason why you're having this problem is because you don't really like your teacher very much, or you don't really have, or you haven't found a teacher that you like, right? So um, you're making the right um, uh, you're you're making the right judgment call by turning down um, these teachers, but you need to know that you're ultimately just looking for the right teacher. So, how does this jive with your identity? How do we grow from this? All right, we got eight of vessels reversed, which is for rebirth. It's one of my favorite cards because uh, I love the cascading uh, system of cups where it goes three cups to one great cup into four smaller cups that then pours out 
into um, uh, the second level of this waterfall, and it's um, I, I, I like the I like the way that it operates. So you've got this in in reverse, right? You know this 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 rebirth, right? You are um, you're not allowing all of your um, emotional capacity to kind of overflow and fill other people's cups, if you will, right? Um, you're supposed to be, uh, you know, taking the, uh, the emotional vibes that you've picked up and you're meant to be generously putting that emotion into your relationships with other people. Unio reversed over here, right? You're 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 not finding um, satisfaction in that right now. I I know how you feel uh, because um, when uh, you don't really like people around you, you don't really you know aren't really inspired to do your thing for them, right? And uh, and 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 you know this isn't just petty like. Oh, these people are just, uh, I just think they're uncool people. It's just like, no, this is, this is like, this is like these people don't really hold up, uh, their end of, uh, of what your relationship is, whether it's business, social, friendship, familial, like family or whatever. Um, uh, it, it's, it's not there. Right. And, uh, so if you haven't tried to see if that works, you can try that. Um, when it comes to this kind of um, satisfaction, uh, you often can look to um, to um, just do double checking, like what your like what was the original like idea, right? You had an original idea that this emotional uh, outpouring was meant to go for, right? Um, there was, uh, you, you need to double check on um, what that message that you heard in your mind was about. Subconsciously, where we're putting our, our craft and our talent, uh, our skills into action. You got a lot of reversals here, man. Five of vessels reversed. Ecstasy. All right, so you're not letting your art flow, like, you know, like your art flow connected to the emotional charge of your magic, of your skill, uh, of, of your, your, your ability to charge your will. Um, you're not you're not making that connection right now and obviously we're, we're watching these issues stack up so um, you know you've got a network of of things that are working against each other right and as you continue to have things stack against each other it, it's it's incredibly difficult right and you kind of have to once you get the full spread you kind of have to find a, a high value target to straighten out first right and um, I always play it off that the runes reversed means more than the cards reversed. So we have one rune reversed thus far. We'll see how things keep going. Maybe all you have to do is change your attitude and find satisfaction through remembering what your mission was. And uh, that'll, that, that may do it. Let's find out. Shall I have spoken too soon? I have spoken too soon. Othal reversed. So yeah, okay. Um, you haven't given yourself sacred space to do your work, to do your magic. So you need to clear, you need to clear your, you know, wherever, whatever room you have that you know that you can get for yourself, any place, or it's not even a room, it could be your backyard, any place where you can um, Make the argument that you need that, that place set aside for you for that time, right? If you're sharing, you know, things, right? I mean, like, I would hope that, like, your bedroom 
And if you have a partner that your partner knows, like, give me a fucking couple hours, you know, I've got to go draw a circle on the floor and I got to move the bed, yada, yada, whatever it takes, whatever you're doing, you know, you've got to, you got to move the couch because you need to put the, the, the art easel so you can paint over there. Just, just for now, put the, I'll put the couch back. I promise it, it's all this nonsense, right? Okay. Moving into our energies, our, our raw power. Okay. You got that going for you. Page of vessels, the otter. So um, right now your energy is uh, being focused on uh, the acquisition of the emotional intelligence, which is excellent. That's very helpful. That is going to, uh, you want to focus those teachings in on the eight of vessels lesson and learning to have that cup overfloweth. Ingos, Ingos. So you're 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 in your student process. You're doing fine. You're not smudging your makeup on camera in real time like me. Anyway, um, so this is not something you have to worry about in and of itself, but you need to be aware of how it fits into the big picture. In our unconscious, what are we looking for? in the deeps of our mind. Six of bows, abundance. You have to find the abundance that you don't realize is already there by looking into that shadow, by going into the underworld. Sometimes one of the best things that can help you with shadow work is someone else who you think might be too polite to tell you something and you ask them, hey, tell me something about me, right? I'm working on this problem. What have you noticed that's wrong with me, right? <laughs> and like, you know, some people, um, they know how to politely tell anybody a thing, but they won't because it just isn't polite because it's unsolicited, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, find someone that you're okay um, confessing this too because odds are they already see that and they don't say anything and we got fehu fehu is here look at that that's that's, that's double level abundant like this is giving you a strong message that there's resources and a lot of resources of untapped potential So, what wisdom are we taking out of this? Eight of stones, skill. So that's great because um, that skill, that's going to uh, factor into a lot of key things. It's going to factor into uh, the work of the Page of Bows in his studies over here. And of course, the um, over here in our subconscious with the uh, five of vessels, the ecstasy uh, situation, right? Once you get that sanctuary cleared up, the due diligence of your work can continue. This due diligence is going to. Um, be much more satisfying getting that wunyo turned around. Now let's take a look and see what rune we have in this position. Mmm, Berkana, and it's reversed. Berkana, okay? So, um, of these things you're working with, you haven't figured out um, which one to kind of conceive as the thing thing that you want to like do right like me like I can take a stick cut it up carve runes and I could you know and I, I, I could put a lot of time into that and make a bunch of rune sets um, 
right now I don't feel like I really want to be doing that uh, to, uh, you know, you know, it's just so I could like get my, hey, buy my rune sets Etsy shop that I made out of sticks in the woods that I found that I will now make an arbitrary mythological story because I, I don't know how to connect this to anything in my magic and yada yada, right? So like, like for me, I would have to stretch it uh, right now to, to do that, right? I, I have other things I intend to do. Right, and so, like, for me, I'd rather take that time, pick up my guitar, and master that fucking scale and that sweep picking that I've been working on for a couple of weeks. Anyway, so you haven't quite incepted the path of, of, of labor that you need to fulfill to work with all of this. The abundance gets untapped from the unrealized talent that you put into work and our ancestral wisdom our uh, our guiding message is coming in as the ten of bows reversed Re responsibility reversed so yeah you're not taking responsibility right um, you are probably looking at all sorts of circumstances and saying but it's those circumstances and that's why and you have a tremendous amount of people that do not have the inspiration that you have as somebody that would be watching this face painted shirtless freak <laughs> you know telling you silly things about cards that have allegedly have a very metaphysical correlation to your life um, you know, like, I'm the one that's going to tell you, no, make a sacrifice, do something impractical. Don't listen to them. The whole point is to not be them. <laughs> and you become better than them because you do better things than them. Not because you are better than them, but, be, but because you choose to do better things. Okay, and lastly we got Thurisaz reversed as well. And so you're also, um, you should not be letting your guard down. You, you've been acting all... Uh, you know, you've been kind of like letting too many people that are telling you to stop doing things like like you're just you're just listening to the wrong people because you're letting them you're, you're you're letting them weigh in. You're letting them weigh in and they're interfering with your responsibility They're They're stopping you uh, for their needs and you've got some agreement with them, you know. Kind of like how sometimes I have to stop what I am doing uh, because somebody in the household needs me for something. I work very hard to manage that so that way I can continue to do my thing under my circumstances. So, you know, we are all taking those baby steps towards that autonomy uh, that everyone is relevantly and relatively looking for. So to put that back in there, like great vigor, right? You know, the, the Eight of Stones has such a correlation to the great vigor, right? Because it's, it's, it's just, it's all that work, right? Um, all of this stuff is, 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 is very much in there. Constancy bears fruit, right? It's the Eight of Stones bringing out the abundance. But you got to straighten out all these other factors that are surrounding that in, that that situation, and you've got to remember that you've got this inspired thought that you are suppressing. The reason why you've got the shark here is because you've got this threesage reversed, right? This is saying like you have to be, um, you have to be a little. You're not preying on them. You're not trying to exploit or abuse anyone or scare anyone but you're kind of uh but you need to turn on predator mode um if 
the people know you, then the predator mode is not going to bother them whatsoever. If the people don't know you, um, they will be more cautious. And if they know you and they secretly have been taking advantage of you, they're going to change their behavior around you uh, because they've never seen you acting like the kinds of shark that they would never try to pull one over on. You don't try and pull one over on a shark. So, with this reading, I'm going to pop it off with the last whisper in the woods. Uncertainty. The shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift. So while you're taking this advice, you know, I mean, like, the big reason why we come and we check out people who do divination work, whether it's astrology, uh, tarot, pendulums, uh, you know, or whatnot, is because we've got a, a, a certain amount of fog about things that are just important to us in our future. We don't know how long we want to sit on it for yada, 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 right? And so this particular instance, it's a resounding um, sense of patience. So keep doing this and know that the fog will lift. All right, so real quick, let's bring this in so you can see. Oh boy. I don't know if you can see that. Flip that upside down. So I'll just uh, move like that because I can't see the face of the camera doing this. All right. All right, you guys have a good one.